So we're going to explore a video production list inside of ClickUp and how you can potentially use some of the many views that ClickUp offers to demonstrate the power of those different views. So here we have in front of us a video production list and this can be accessed through the templates gallery which has a whole host of different and wide varieties of templates. But you can see here that I've sort of set up some five basic tasks to get us started. Now, all of these tasks span different statuses. Now, this is actually the list view. However, I am gonna show you four other types of views which you might wanna switch between. And this is quite helpful for those who are potentially in a video production process and want to understand whether ClickUp might be more suitable for them. So you can see these five tasks, as I mentioned, all have different statuses but all have different due dates, all have different publish dates, and have other additional details that, that I provided per one. Now, what you can see here is very simply a list of them. But one thing I can do over here is go to group by, and I'm going to select statuses. Now, this is a default one, but this is a really helpful view because it breaks down all of the different tasks into their relevant statuses giving me an idea of, okay, I can focus on editing or filming and move stuff across a certain stages. And if I wanted to, I could naturally move it over into different areas and even as subtasks as well. So the list can be modified by group in other such details like priority levels. If you and your team are looking for the best way to actually access, okay, what is the most important thing we need to do right now? then you can do that. And you can go into a task and actually modify that up here, giving it a higher status. And if you come back out, it'll automatically be set a little higher. So down in the bottom right corner, you'll notice that you can save these different views each time you go about it. So if you wanted to save the view and set up auto save view, you can do too. So you're probably wondering, how does the board function work and how can I get started? It very much works like a Kanban board, allowing you to move stuff between certain statuses, and you can even change it by, for example, priority, tags, due date, and even a custom field like publish date and type, which I've added to each of the items. So this is perfect for maybe teams and general managers to be able to even pick an assignee and work out what they're working on. So if I had more people, I could go about delegating certain stuff to other people without necessarily getting too confusing inside of my ClickUp board. I can even view, expand all of the subtasks that might be relevant inside of the board. And I can go into detail into the right hand side and protect this view if I wanted to as well. Now filtering is quite helpful inside of any of the different views inside of ClickUp. It helps you to take yourself that step further. So you may want to say, I'm only going to be focusing on things that have high urgency at the moment. And you can see that the only item in this list of high urgency is editing. So this might help drill down certain details inside of this, even tags or whatever you've got attached as custom fields. So the other view that is quite useful is a Gantt view. And this is particularly helpful for large scale projects and being able to see a timeline of what's coming up next. Now I can go over here and I can change the views but I typically go with zoom to fit, which allows you to see the best possible view. Now, if you have projects that span a certain period of time, especially with dependencies, then you can move these about as you see fit and it gives you a good view of what's coming up. I can even go down here and start adding some tasks as well if I want to start building upon this. The final view I want to show you is the calendar view. These are all, I guess, core views to your experience in ClickUp. And as you can see, a video production list can be made into a calendar view, allowing you to see the full details of the start and end dates that you're working on certain projects. A great way to calendar block all of your items out if you and your team are looking for a bit more clarity. So you can see the many different ways you can use the ClickUp video production board. It's quite helpful for being able to just get started and get rolling on ideas and thoughts that you may have. Now one of the things that you might want to do is if you turn statuses on like this and you didn't want to show ideas, you can do this to any of the items in the statuses or if in the areas that you create, you can hide them as well, which is quite helpful. So if you and your team just want to be able to see what you're reviewing, 
filming and editing, then you can see that all here and you can customize it as well. And it's a great way to be able to see everything at a glance. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this feature. Please do become a subscriber of Keep Productive with ClickUp and we'll dive into some more features and specifics very soon. Thank you very much, folks. Talk to you all very soon.